Hi, I'm Eric Egley, and welcome to this edition of PS Pointers. You know, there's a lot of things that can affect the area underneath the eyes. You know, dark circles are caused by lack of sleep, stress, illness. You know, you get the bags under the eyes, which could be anything from uh, uh, ethnicity to uh, simply age. So, you know, that's one of the things that I look at a lot uh, when I first open up a, uh, a new image of people. And I've discovered a way to correct that quickly, easily, and efficiently. And that's what I'd like to show you right now. And to get started, what I'd like to do is go ahead and duplicate our background layer. And you can either drag that into your new layer icon down here or simply hit Command J, which will do the same thing. And so we're working on a, a copy of that layer now. And what we want to do is go into our patch tool right over here. Uh, select that. And what the patch tool does is you're going to make a selection around the area that we want to correct. And let's get that a little tighter here. So let's make a selection around the, the offending area, if you will. Okay, try not to hit the eyelashes. And what we're going to do is we're going to click and hold that. And we're going to drag it to an area that looks similar to the area that we want to cover up. And what this does is it blends tonality and texture into that area. And that looks pretty good. That's not too bad. Let's try it on this side. And again, that, that worked real well first time around. Um, let's go over here because she's got a few uh, a few lines underneath her eyes and around her eyes that we'll try and correct here. Uh, the one thing that you have to look out for is sometimes with the selection um, you'll get a line around it. Uh, like for instance in here, it's hard to see, but there is a slight delineation between the two areas. And you just make another selection there and, and just sort of blend that in. Uh, even up here around the eyes here. You can blend that area in too. Real easy, quick. And so this is this is a way that you know you can do a lot of images in a very short period of time. Grab that and we'll get that taken care of right there. And like I said, there's a few areas in here that you have to blend in just a little better. Um, there we go, just make another selection and drag it to another area, try and blend that in as as well as possible. So that's looking pretty good. Let's zoom out here. Okay, there's our lovely couple. Now, generally I don't like to leave it here. I like to adjust the opacity a little bit and show some of that character just to, just to give give a little bit of reality to it. Um, I don't like them look, looking like dolls or unrealistic. So. Um, what we could do, one of the ways I do that is I'll make a layer mask. You go to your brush, make sure your black is on top because we're going to paint out. I'm using a, a uh, tablet with a stylus so uh, the opacity, opacity will be adjusted by the pressure on the tablet. But you probably want to start if you were going to do it with a mouse at about 10%. So let's just paint back just a little bit of character underneath those eyes. Oh, that's a little too much. Let's go to white, paint that back. There we go. And then the same. Oh, you know something. Hold on. I'm going to turn off the shape dynamics and just turn on. Uh, there we go. Turn on the opacity. There we go. That's better. Just a little bit there. Now, the other way to do that, uh, we can turn that off and I'll show you it. Uh, you can also just, if it's similar in both subjects, or if you're just doing one subject, it, it, it may be easier just to adjust the opacity of the layer itself, just to bring back a little bit of character. There you go, right about there. So let's take a look. Here's the before, and here is the after. Smoothed out that area, blended the tonalities in that real nicely, and that's about it. You're ready to get on with the next image. Well, that's PS Pointers for this month, and thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, please shoot them my way on the blog. 
please join me in a few weeks for Tech Tuesday and check out my website, ericegglyphotography.com. Thanks.